Hey everybody, welcome, hold on a second here, I didn't have this pulled up. So, <clears throat> when Pete leaves you with the keys to the stream, and that could only mean one thing, that it's time for the Mike Wits. I'm your host, Mike Kafis, and joining me this evening are my two good friends, Ben Gerber and David Benavides. Welcome, Ben. How are you? First, I got to grab this and make this. You know how hard it is to, to draw, drive all the, the, the things? There I've driven are. all the things before. Oh, awesome. There you are. Ben Gerber Hi. is a creator of such games as Swamped, Ninja, Silent but Deadly, Argyle, and Crew, and Something Went Wrong. During the day, he does IT stuff for some hoity-toity college. In his spare time, he creates games and music, curates online groups, is the independent games coordinator for Total Confusion, New England's largest gaming convention, writes a few game reviews, and, of course, plays a lot of games. And we're going to play more games here today, too. Um, cool. And I'm just hoping... During the day... Okay, I just wanted to make sure we're not getting any echo out on the feed, so that's really good. David, I didn't uh, paste your thing into the thing that I'm reading it right now, so uh, welcome, David Benavides. That's you, and you are going to read your blur because uh, this is how we do it when we're fast and loose. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm David Benavides. I am one of the Mythwit super fans. Uh, I'm also a regional Iron GM champion, uh, as well as the owner of Bags, which is Badass Gaming Solutions. Uh, we currently publish supplements for Dilly Green Bean Games, uh, a G Core superhero system by our very own Jay Libby. I've heard of him. Uh, I am also a regular attendee of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's popular or something. Uh, he's a regular attendee at uh, NI and regular attendee at TotalCon and recently attended the first AppleCon in Cornish, Maine. How was AppleCon? You were mentioning earlier before we started the stream that you were in a barn. You know, the there was a game barn. Oh, okay. uh, it is very. It was actually very nice. It was it was uh, at an inn in Cornish, Maine, uh, and and the back was a barn that they converted to a gaming floor. Uh, and yes, it was a, uh, it was a game barn. Uh, I got the uh, pleasure of playing with uh, Tim Kask, uh, who was also a guest of honor. Uh, the whole con was set up by Lo Lloyd Metcalf. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and it was, it was fun. It was quaint. It was very, it was um, small, but it was small, but very good because you could get to play there was open tables and you get to play whatever you want and get to play with Tim. So I liked it. And especially for a first con, there was a, uh, quite a few people. Did, did Tim kill you? No, no, he did not. He, uh, I actually survived and, uh, it was fun. It was quite fun. And in fact, you know what? All the party survived. Also, uh, part of the game was our, our very own total con, Steven Parento. Huh. He must've been as uh, I actually got to play with Steven again. Oh. Uh, yes, no. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I so guess it, was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I guess uh, Tim is uh, softening up in his old age. He must be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. Uh, how are you doing? What is what's um, new? What is new with I'm you? Wonderful. What's new with me? Nothing. It's fall, which means we do traditional fall things here in Massachusetts, like sweat a lot. And wish that it was actually November. Set witches uh, on fire. That, yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's pressing mostly. Oh, okay. And hanging. All right. So, uh, Ben, I, I uh, just, I'm going to ask you this real quickly, and you better make up something if you don't have anything. Uh, uh, there's, there's got to be something. Maybe a little bit, a little something, a total con leak. That maybe you have that you could share with us. Something that we don't know about. Something we can look forward to. Um, the only thing I can really say, other than what's already been announced, is that it's going to be a pretty – sorry, let me put my New England on. It's going to be a wicked awesome convention. Oh, wicked. Wicked, wicked awesome. We're going to have stuff for role players. We're going to have stuff for board gamers. 
Um, we're going to have a lot of Saturday morning cartoons, which is going to be really cool. Um, the, I believe one of the guests has already been announced for the role-playing groups. Um, plus, we have, um, um, oh, what is that? Um, we, we got somebody coming for board games. I can't really talk about them until they've officially been announced, but board gamers are, gonna, are really going to love it. And uh, announced today, Iron GM is coming back as well. Oh, I did hear that. Paul, I just yeah. adjusted my levels. Yeah, I, was about tell, to, I was about to say that. Um, t- tell me if my level is any better, Paul. Because I'm not going to have this this week, Paul. I'm not going to have it. You hear me, nudes? Um, anyway, let me know if this is a little bit better. Um, and I will um, put, God, I've, I have two mice. I have four screens and no partridges and all the pear trees. So uh, today, all right, first of all, you may be wondering, where the hell is Pete? Well, Pete is on travel, and he knew he wasn't going to make it to the show tonight. So I said, uh, I'm going to do my best. And I have contacted uh, uh, quite a few people, but believe it or not, I, I reached out to David first because I thought this would be a really neat thing if David, as sort of our one of our oldest and more, most loyal and awesome fans, would be able to come on. And then he's like, ah, man, I'm, I work for a living and I can't do that. So... <laughs> You know, and I was just like, yeah, it's pretty lame. But anyway, um, he then decided that, uh, I mean, he uh, had a, uh, a fortune favored uh, his, his, his situation. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and that he was able to join us this evening. And in betwixt that, I thought, oh, uh, let me see if Ben could come on, um, because we always love to talk to our friend, our good friend, Ben. And uh, he agreed to do that. Uh, did I interfere too much with date night, Ben? No, we actually had concluded date night, um, and we're on to the watching documentaries about murders portion ah. of the evening. Uh, documentaries about murder, I like it. Okay, Netflix is a wonderful thing. So basically, what I've done for tonight is Mike is using the speaker tube from the Witching Well. Is, did am I? Is it sound any better? Come on, someone chime in with me here, buddy. Work with me. Um, so uh, what I decided to do tonight is I have done two games. Uh, well, most likely we'll get to the second game, but who knows? Because we're all, we're all having fun here, so we may actually just get to the one. But we'll see. I'm prepared for two. Um, and the first game, as I am about to pull it up, uh, someone stall. Say something smart, somebody. The magic of IT. Is that smart? Hmm. It was smart enough because it got me to okay. this. It got me to this today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Wait, in we, what? What happened? What happened, Dave? What? Oh, oh no, I, I was going to say we are master pun experts, and we, we could have we could have filled the air with our punnies. Yes, punny puns. Oh, I mean, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ben, I think you need to amend your, uh, um, what do you call it, your bio so that it says something about being a master pun stir. But uh, I just can't do it on command. That's all. Baloney. Um, okay, so <laughs> without further ado, uh, let me just let you guys know this. Uh, In honor of today being the beginning of the 48th season of The Price is Right, I bring you, ladies and gentlemen, the Facebook marketplace, Price is Right? Mm. I have curated several items from the Facebook marketplace. These items are geeky and collectible in nature. Most of them are. Uh, Each contestant will guess at the actual asking price, which, well, just... Good luck with that. Uh, The contestant guessing the closest to the actual asking price without going over will win the round. At the end of the seven rounds, the contestant with the most correct guesses will get to bid on showcase number one or pass on to contestant, the second contestant, in favor of showcase number two. The bidder who comes closest to their showcase without going over will win Facebook Marketplace prices, right? I will share my screen and show the contestants and the folks at home pictures to do our best to describe any notable or distinguishable characteristics regarding this pictured items. Are we ready, 
Do you guys have any questions? Sure. I'm full of questions, but not for you. Oh. Wow, that's a first. Okay. So, um, I, I don't have many answers. So. Ah, the, remember, there are no dumb questions, just inquisitive idiots. Uh, so, I fit that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike. Yes. I do have a question for you. Um, I, I have an answer. What, what color does a Smurf turn if you choke it? Wow. Uh... Uh, uh, purple. Good. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Carry on. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Why? Why wouldn't it? Right. Okay. So, uh, are you guys seeing this now? Am I presenting? Yes. No. She's got it where it counts. Yes. <laughs> got it where it counts. All right. So uh, let me see. Let me make sure I'm setting. I'm presenting this to the. Uh, I think I'm now presenting it to everyone at home. Uh, like I said, everyone at home, uh, audio listeners, the contestants, and I will do our best to describe any notable or distinguishable characteristics regarding the pictures. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, as you can see here, item number one, uh, both of you will be bidding on, is or are bidding for, guessing on, is the Star Wars 1979 Empire Strikes Back Vintage Millennium Falcon Spaceship. Complete Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Millennium Falcon is sold in as-is condition from the seller. Uh, it includes the top cover, the cannon, the window, the cannon support, the seat radar screen, radar support, the radar base, the game table, the false floor, the landing gear, the ramp, the struts, the ramp, the stickers on the Falcon, some have fallen off, and they are included in the envelope. Now, what this set does not include is the lightsaber ball or the rod and string. Okay, it is listed as good used condition, and I do have a, uh, let's see, there's a couple more um, of these. I believe that's that one and that uh, so um, my friends uh, let's see we can start with Ben first um, I don't have any do either of you have a piece of paper handy I'm gonna need one of you to be a, a friend of mine and keep score I might be able to manage that of All course right. I'm gonna win I do as you are doing that uh, Dave, what would you say is the actual asking price? Now, I will. Uh, what I've also uh, said I was going to do for you guys is let you know that this is a three-digit item. So this this item, the the asking price is three digits, not without without any decimals. So, uh, given that's a three-digit item, uh, David, what would you say that the person asked? All right, um, eh. I got well, I got a little spaced out there. So I got a little spaced out, but I'm, I'm gonna say two hundred, two hundred. You're gonna say David is going to say two hundred. All right, and Ben, what would you bid? I'm gonna bid. I'm gonna do a classic prices right move and bid two hundred and one dollars. Uh, what a dick move, dick That's move. That's right. All right. Uh, now you guys could could uh, leapfrog each other like this the whole way, or you guys could, and and some of these are going to be hard to do that for anyway. But anywho, uh, actual asking bid is two hundred and fifty five dollars. So nice. Ben Ben scrapes by with the win. <laughs> ben, give yourself a a really greasy point. <laughs> We'll do it. One breezy point. All right. Um, let me see. So the next item up for bid is, as some of you may have seen, uh, the picture uh, that I accidentally clicked on a little bit in advance, is the Alienware Advanced Gaming Mouse. The Alienware 2558 in Falls Church, Virginia. This was listed over a week ago. Uh, it is in brand new, in the box, never used. Uh, so, how much, uh, Ben, how much is uh, 
a Alienware advanced gaming mouse going for on Facebook Marketplace by this particular person. Uh, two, digits? Digits. two digits. Two digits. Mm -hmm. It's been there for a week, which means that they priced it too high. So I'm going to go with $47. You're going with 47 47 and David. I'm going to say 59. All right. And David. I agree with Ben. They priced it high. David, you're saying 59 for this. Uh, eh, 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 both of you are over. So I'm oh. going to have to erase the bits and start <laughs> over again. It is going to be below 47. Ben, pick up something below 47. $28. $28. Dollars twenty eight, and David. Uh, an easy payment of nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> ah, nineteen ninety nine. A very not douchey uh, answer. And for that not douchey answer, I give you one point. Ding 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 ding. For this mouse sold for twenty five dollars. So congratulations, Dave. Congratulations. Uh, occasionally, I'm going to try and actually put your faces up there, too, instead of anyone just having to look at a mouse. The broadcast has been paused. It should resume shortly. Okay, well, that's inter interesting. Um, <laughs> let's see. I am... Um, what did you say? I sold out for Star Wars. Is that what you said? No. No, you sound like a droid. Oh. Your your sound is cutting out a little bit there. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. It's our it's our wonderful internet, I guess. <laughs> um All right, moving on. You sound like the alien in Mars. <laughs> Maybe I am in a uh, a sound tube. Mm. Uh all right, oh, it's, that was another picture of the alienware. I'm sorry. All right, so next up for bid uh is the Franklin Mint 1991 Collector's Edition Monopoly set. Still on a mouse there. Ah, there it, we go. Is it? Is it, though? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in Elkridge, Maryland, again, over a week ago, practically new and virtually unused, this Collector's Edition set, circa 1991, includes all pieces and cards and is in great condition. Pickup preferred. But uh, they will ship. Uh, it is offered, but not included in the price. So, uh, and they did list a, a price or best offer. Uh, but again, it's used or like new. And here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is another. There's a couple of extra uh, shots here for you. Um, and as we're doing this, uh, I believe it is David's turn to go first. Um, there's actually little card holders for the cards and a little booklet. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's that. So, uh, David, what do you think? Well, I'm, I'm going to go 150. Oh, and it was, it, it's three digits. Th uh, so yes. Okay. Uh, uh, David is going 150 right there. And, uh. Uh, Mr. Gerber? Well, it's a Franklin Mint edition. Franklin was a turtle on a children's show, and kids are expensive. I'm going to go 222. 222. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have someone who actually is within $3, and that is Mr. Ben Gerber. Wow. Congratulations, yeah. uh, two twenty-five. Congratulations. How does defeat uh, thrown in someone else's direction feel? <laughs> to me, it feels pretty good. Okay. I mean, I couldn't argue with the logic I had there. So, <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think you could. All right, so um, that's all right. Uh, I think it's only uh, two to one, so it's anybody's game at this point. Uh, and moving on to our next piece, uh, this would be, with me moving this mouse in this direction, how's everyone doing? 
Comcastic. I know. Thank you. All right. So as everyone sees here, what we have is the Amazing Spider-Man number 14. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Green Goblin, Norman Osborn, and the first meeting of the Hulk and Spider-Man. This was uh, original release, and its original printing is July 1964. It is CGC, as you can see, CGC uh, page quality of uh, 6.0. So, you know, uh, what is it? Does CGC go up to 9 or 10? 9. Nine. 9. That's what I thought. Something. Yeah. So uh, this one is a six. Um, however, it is uh, a very, very um, sought-after uh, Spider-Man. And yeah. here, here is the back of it, as you can see. It's also in you know fairly uh, good order. It's a little uh, browning around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go. I believe we have to go with um, who? Who? Oh. And I'm sorry, uh, just so everyone knows, and Paul guessed ninety nine ninety nine. However, Paul, I will tell you that there are no cents in this. There's no cents in this game. But this is a four-digit number, uh, so it is in the thousands. Uh, wow. Who goes first? Uh, is it Ben? Uh, I think I went last last time. Okay. With my two. two, two. That's right. Um Four digits for a Spider-Man, rated a 6.0. That is correct. So let's see. Once again, using my flawless logic, he's a <laughs> spider and a man, which means there are webs. Cobwebs indicate age, which means this was probably found at an antique store, and those are expensive. So I'm going to go with $1,837. One thousand eight. 37. 37. And you are locked in, sir. And David, uh, and everyone in the chat room, please feel free to uh, chime in as well. So, uh, David, um, what are your thoughts on this? This uh, fine Sp Spitterman number 14 comic. Uh-oh. I think we lost your voice there, David. Oh, do. Oh, do, David. What happened? He's gone. Use use sign language. Oh, oh there he is. There oh, you okay. Are. Back? Yeah, You're there back. We go. All right. I I um I did the old mute button. Uh <laughs> I'm going to go with 2000 2000 even. David goes with 2000 even. Actual asking price for the Spider-Man number 14 is 2,550 donuts. So well, that donuts. is a point. That is a point for uh, David. David. Congratulations. All right. Excellent. Uh, good. That, um, this is turning out a little bit better than I thought. It's, uh, it's a little hard running every single solitary piece of this game. But uh, still fun nonetheless. Uh, next up for auction, my friends, is the Schwinn Stingray 1965 Flamboyant Lime J33. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what are the actual F? And you'd be right. In Lewis, Delaware, just five scant days ago, maybe it hasn't even sold, someone actually took the care to fully restore this J33 from September 1964, all original Springer. Uh, it's new off-the-shelf Schwinn paint, and its seat is redone with new off-the-shelf sh off Schwinn tires. Say that five times fast, off-the-shelf Schwinn tires. Uh, and it's all new chrome. All the pieces uh, were newly chromed as well. So literally someone sent this to chrome. Uh, here is another couple of views of the bike. That's a Stingray. Um, J33. Uh, they did a pretty decent job restoring this, I would say. I mean, geez, right? Oops. Well, wrong one. Okay. Went too far. <laughs> Forget. Pay no attention to that. 
<laughs> um, so uh, I believe now it is uh, somebody. Somebody tell me who's first. David's turn. David's turn. David, what do you think the bid was or what is the asking price for this beautiful Schwinn Stingray? J3. How many digits are we looking at here, Mike? Four digits, my friends. Four digits. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go nuts and save five hundred dollars. All right. Why not? All right. Dave says five hundred. Wait a or minute. Is Paul, or, or, or is... yeah. get, get, uh, Dave, so Dave, Dave, listen. So actually, uh, it says it's four digits. You have an extra digit you you may use should you want. If you would like to go oh, five hundred. Four digit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll add another two thousand to that. So two thousand five hundred. Wow. Well, all right, big spender all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Four <laughs> digits. That's, yeah, because that's like two digits more than I'm willing to commit to a bike like that. <laughs> um, exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, hey, you know, you could say, what would you be willing to pay for this? Yeah. Uh, now, I, if you're four digits, if David's doing twenty five hundred smackers for this thirty seven pound piece of steel. Uh, with one gear, I'm gonna go with one in lovely green. I might add in, in a lovely lime green. I'm gonna go with one thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars. One thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars sure. would be the closest without going over because this gentleman or lady who restored this bike was asking one thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. Wow. So wow. congratulations, good job. Give yourself a point there, Benny. Done. All right. Now, uh, inadvertently, I did uh, tip the next card, uh, which is a lot, <laughs> and by I mean a lot, I mean two, <laughs> a lot of two, uh, B wing and X wing toy vehicles. Now, let's pay attention. Whoa, listen. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on here. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ask you to turn in your nerd card here, because clearly we're looking at a B-wing and a Y-wing fighter. What did I just say? X-wing. X-wing. I'm sorry. I literally. I oh yeah. That was a. That was a. Yeah. That was a Freudian. That was a. Yeah. <laughs> Freudian slip. Uh, a B-wing and a Y-wing. These toy vehicles. <laughs> uh, now, and I'm reading you. What the people write, okay? So yep. if I'm reading you this, this is not from some store. This is what the person actually typed in. B-Wing and oh, no, Y-Wing. It is from a store. It's like Kmart right there. Right, right. B-Wing and Y-Wing toy vehicles. These were exclusive re-releases. Kmart B-Wing is brand new, unopened. Box is worn a bit. The Y-Wing is opened and was put together but complete. The condition used and good. So, I can tell you that there are two digits on this one. Uh, and uh, somebody tell me who's going first. I am juggling way too many things. All right, Ben. So, you may not be able to answer this question, although I'm not convinced you didn't write that and you aren't actually secretly trying to sell these to finance the show. Um, oh. Is Lando included with the Y Wing? Uh, I really <laughs> wish I could answer that. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna say yes. Be well, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Uh, wow, that would be. A I good mean, he's question. in the picture. He's right he's there. The, he's in the pictures. He's all these. You know what? I'll bet you those. Uh, who 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 put those out? Mattel, with the yeah, time. Well, yeah. Yeah. Kenner. I, Kenner. I, I, oh, I Kenner. So Kenner. Admiral. Yeah. Admiral. I don't think Admiral Akbar is. Uh, is 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 in yeah. The, is that's a weird placement for Admiral <laughs> Akbar in a in a fighter. But hey, yeah. so you know I, what? I know, I know why. You know why? It's you know why? Because it's a trap. Yeah, it's, it's a, trap. a trap. Very good, sir. That is very good. Well done, David. I, um. Oh God, Mike was going to say it. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. I'm going to go with twenty nine dollars. Twenty-nine dollars. All right, very good, uh, David. What uh, what say you? How much would this person be asking for toy vehicles of B and Y wing? Um, my um, I'm gonna do a, a, a D wing maneuver and say thirty dollars. 
Thirty. I think that's a deep maneuver. That's a yeah, a, a D bag maneuver. But <laughs> a D bag. <laughs> you would be correct uh, because it it is fifty dollars they were asking for, which I think is a goddamn steal, even for reproductions. Uh, but that's just me, right? Just you. Just me. Okay. So. Just you. Uh, so David gets the square. All right. Um, let's see. S the next piece up for bid is, ladies and gentlemen, Star Trek Dimensional Chess. In Gaithersburg, Maryland, over a week ago, this vintage new Star Wars 3D chess tridimensional chess set 32 pieces from the Franklin Mint, circa 1994, comes with a certificate and booklet in mint condition. Would consider barter for speakers or some, are you ready for this, Van Halen <laughs> or Motley Vinyl. Wow. So it's the 90s are right back, man. Right back at us. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, all right, so this is a like new condition. Um, God, I want to say this thing was in the three hundreds, new from the Franklin Mint, but I'm not sure. Um, but well, how much did you pay for this, then, Mike? I didn't. I don't have one, and I really want it. Let me tell you. Do something. you have yeah, a Molly Crew vinyl? <laughs> right I now? swear to God, if I did, boy, let me tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> so uh, I You're think the proud owner of. <laughs> Uh, original chess set. Right. Uh, Dave, what say you? How much do you think this uh, little ditty will go for? Do we have a digit count on this? Uh, three digits. Yeah, I'm going to go with... Oh, can I... I'm gonna, yeah, all right. 250. T time out, time out. I do need to say this because oh, no, wait. it's a very... I, I, I'm going to say you have to be between... Uh, like it has to be, uh, how would I put this? Uh, a very high, high uh, digit, two digit, or a very low one digit, if that makes sense. So you don't go five hundred dollars. You're not a mathematician, are you? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Well, are you saying like like one hundred and something. I, 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 I don't know. What are you referring to here? I all I can tell you is it is a three digit number. Are you saying number. it has to be a digit between? Are you trying it's to say a three digit number? But you are high and low. There are no stupid questions. So, uh, <laughs> hey Tori, hi. You wish you could stay. I, I, I'm, but... I'm going to stick with my two fifty. Okay, you're sticking with two. Two fifty. Two fifty. And yeah, whoops! Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit! You didn't see that. I hit the nope, wrong go button. Go back in time. There we go. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> all right. And so again, ben. that's two more digits than I'd be willing personally to commit to this wonderful item. Right. Um, so we need a three-digit number that features both low and high digits in some <laughs> order that Mike knows in his head. Uh, high twos and low threes, I think you said it was. I don't really know what to make of that. So yeah, I'm going to go with 175. 175. All right. So both of you are over. Someone did not yes. read between my idiot lines. See, Pete's, <laughs> Pete's really good about reading my, my, my idiot lines. Where is he? When, he would be so nailing it. He'd be like, you're such an idiot. Why don't you just tell him how much it is? All right. So, <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Nice to see you. What's up, Jonathan? All right. Um, so what do, you, what do you guys think? What do we got here? Uh, All right. A uh, hundred, a hundred twenty-seven dollars. One twenty-seven. Uh, good high, low digits. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to go with a hundred and three. Um, you are both still over. A <laughs> hundred and two. No, no, save it. David? 
100. All right, Dave goes 101, and you, my friend, are going with 100, which would be correct. You see my idiot hint there? Uh, it's sort of a three-digit number, but you got to think like two digits. <laughs> you guys just don't no. get me. I you don't get me. <laughs> Sorry, man. No. All no, right. Was... All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have a feeling about this next one. Yeah, shut up. So, so uh, first of all, now we have – I, I ruined my surprise. So, all right. But first of all, now we've gotten through our seven. Um, ben, as our official scorekeeper, uh, what is the score? Uh, it is David at three and me at four. So that would mean that you get your choice of the first showcase or passing to David. And your – god damn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that out in the, uh, in, the, in the official video when I have to edit it. So uh, your video – I mean your showcase showdown is – a brand new car! A 1981 DeLorean DMC-12! That's again, right. Again, we have definition of brand new, but hey, go ahead. <laughs> hey, it's never... Oh, you know what? It is a used car. It's a used <laughs> car. I forgot. It has been driven 36,674 miles. It's a manual transmission. Uh, it is... The John DeLorean's groundbreaking stainless steel gullwing door mid-range engine design. Only driven 990 miles per year, 2.8 liter fuel injected, aluminum V6, silver body, reclining bucket seats, interior with full factory console, full factory gauges that include an 80 RPM tachometer and an 85 mile per hour speedo. Uh, it also has uh, readouts for volts and oil pump and fuel temp fuel gauge and temperature, engine temperature, original three-spoke steering wheel, ice-cold factory air conditioning included, maybe. Uh, it's upgraded Pioneer AM, FM, CD, digital sound. Comes with the original radio as well, though. Uh, it is show-ready, detailed engine compartment, which I will show in just a second. It has rack and pinion steering, four-wheel disc brakes, great-sounding dual exhaust. And it also comes with the... DMC workshop manual, the owner's manual, the service bulletin, and a state. There's a lot of service bulletins on this puppy. And Ooh. the flux capacitor is optional. Ooh. Uh, I was going to ask. I was going to ask, does it come with the flux capacitor? Exactly. Yeah. Well, of course. Uh, check out that little door open light. That's awesome. The little yeah. rolling. All right, let's get real here. This is a DeLorean made out of stainless steel. My favorite next gen rocket, the the SpaceX Starship is also going to be made out of some form of stainless steel. But I suck at this game. I suck at these showcases. So, so I don't know if I'm going to pass or not. Well, uh, yeah, you, 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 know could, you could pass. Uh, all I will say is it is this car, in comparison, is in very good condition, excellent condition. Okay. But uh, I've always wanted a sports car that can go 0 to 60 in under 17 seconds. I think this might be the one. That's so. I'm probably going to go – I'll bid on this showcase. You're going to bid on Okay. All right. Sure. Is there a minimum or do I just make up a number? Uh, it well, it, it is It is uh, between uh, – what is it? It is a uh, one, two, three, four, five-digit number. Sorry. <laughs> so, you know. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you have to do the same thing, right? I have. Absolutely. I, too, am not a mathematician. It's in the um, tens of thousands of dollars. Yes. <laughs> thousands of dollars. Tens I'm of thousands. I'm going to bid, I'm going to bid $17,000. $17,000. All right. Give me one second here because I need to do math. This could take more than a second. Hold on. If I put that right under there, maybe a little easier to do the maths. Uh, okay, that's uh, uh huh. That's there. And uh, can you carry the two. Go get the two. Yeah. 
That's a dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh-huh. And then that uh 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 Okay. All right. Um All right. Uh David uh, your showcase is. Are you ready for this? Uh, is. Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready for this. <laughs> it is oh. a mix of D and D books and mods and dragon mags. Now Ooh. this this is a lot and a lot. When I mean a lot, I mean a lot oh. of of stuff to get through here. Okay. So. Oh, oh my geekness. <laughs> So, David, hello, everyone. Looking to sell these original D&D books, Dragon Mag... Oh, I'm sorry. They said, hello, Evie one. <laughs> looking, Evie one. Looking to sell these original D&D books, Dragon Mags, mods, and miscellaneous related D&D books. So here, here you have, and in every particular order, you have the monster, the Dungeon Master's Guide. You have... The Player's Handbook, you have the Deities and Demigods, you have the uh, Unearthed Arcana, you have the Fiend Folio, you have the Monster Manual 2, no, the Monster Manual, sorry, you have the Monster Manual, then you have... Uh, adventures, and then you have uh, Monster Manual 2, and then you have the Dungeon Survival Guide, the Dungeoneer Survival Guide, and you think that's all, but it's not, because then you have the, uh, I don't know why that's turned, that is not supposed to be turned, stupid turn, uh, you have the Marvelous Magic, the, the Book of Marvelous Magic, um, if all these are turned, I'm going to be so pissed because I, I specifically save them unturned. And for every page, you know, there's a turn, turn, turn. And the next thing you have here is ah, the complete. There is a purpose. C O M P L E A T, the complete adventurer yeah. compendium. Uh, this is the Stephen by Stephen Michael Sh- Sh- uh, Sashay, yeah. Sash- uh, something like that. Sashi. Yes, him. Uh, the, you. You also have the complete spellcaster, and you also have the complete alchemist. Now, you would think, is that all? No, that is not all. You have Grimtooth's Traps. You have Grimtooth's Traps 2. You have the Character Law Compendium Book. Uh, now, what was the, uh, the, the, the... This is Ice, which is the... Uh, Iron Crown Enterprises, uh, law, basic law rule book, and the character law, and then the arms law and claw law, uh, adaptable for any FRP system. Hashtag Rollmaster. Uh, and we have the Book of Artifacts. That's right. But it could it be anything more? No, there could not be anything more. But there is the Armory's thirty-sided dice. Gaming Tables book. The D&D Monster and Treasures Assortment for set levels three, levels, set three, levels seven through nine. (laughs) Now, offers can be made on the books, I question. I think they are all first print books, which you would be wrong. All of them are not, but most of them are. There are a good bit of them. Uh, All dungeon mags, and, and he didn't even show the dungeon mags. Uh, they have maps in if they're in that issue. Let me know if you're interested. Let's make a deal. So, <laughs> David. Um, I, I am, um, yes, be- before we go on, um, as beautiful as Ben's face is, he's been on the feed the entire time. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It didn't show the, uh, the It well, didn't show the products. You get to bid on me, David. That's right. You, One oh boy, you son of a bitch! Uh, you, you couldn't tell me that this whole time. You couldn't. You. I just, I just looked. I just. I just saw the note from Jonathan. 
Ah, uh, for crap's sake. All right, here we go. Going back, I'm, I'm only showing these. I'm not reading them off again. Ah. The Dungeon Master's Guide, the Player's <laughs> Handbook, the Deities and Demigods, Unearthed Arcana, Fiend Folio, Master of Man the Monster Manual, <clears throat> Adventures, uh, Monster Manual 2, Dungeoneer's Survival Guide, The Marvelous Magic, The Complete Adventurer, The Complete Spellcaster, The Complete Alchemist, Grimtooth's Traps, Grimtooth's Traps 2, also Character Law, Arms Law and Claw Law, The Book of Ar Artifacts, The Armory's 30-Sided Die... Uh, uh, tables and the Dungeons and Dragons Monster and Treasure Assortment. There, you're happy. <laughs> uh, now, oh, I... uh, David, what would you bid on yeah. this this bootyful uh, assortment of books? All right. Well, it depends. Uh, does my wife need to know? Uh, I, that's up to you, pal. Oh, okay. Because if she doesn't need to know, I, I would, uh, I would bid. Well, it's not uh, you're bidding because you know you're not seven. like trying to outbid. You're just you're know, going to tell me what are they asking, not what you're bidding. So, there's a lot of books. I'm I'm going to go with uh, seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. All right. So, uh. Let's see. Uh, I, I, but if I, my wife wants to know, it's only 150. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, ben, yeah, your sure. sh your showcase. You bid seventeen thousand dollars. Actual. I sure did. Actual bidding price was forty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars, a difference of thirty two thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. But I'm still under. You are under now. David Benavides, you bid for all of this goddamn Dungeons and Dragons goodness. You bid seven hundred dollars, asking actual asking price. Was four twenty five. Boom, 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 boom. So Ben, congratulations! You win the Facebook Marketplace prices, right? Yay! <laughs> if you get in that DeLorean right now and start driving, you'll be here on Thursday. <laughs> uh, well, I, yeah. So I would have to go. Where do I have to go to pick that up again? That was in. Um, you know, uh, interestingly, it's in. A dealership. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to tell us where it was. Uh, I thought it was. Uh, it didn't say. I got to look this up. I got to pull up Facebook in Marketplace because I, I wanted. I thought I everything was supposed to be really close to me. So that is wow. Bean Town. Where the hell they is really that? Want like forty thousand, forty-seven thousand dollars for that. Four, that seems a little hot. 40. It is a it's in that condition. It's it's a show ready immaculate car. Yeah. I don't know if you if you ever have a second, go online and look at DeLoreans and what people are selling them for. Uh, a show ready could go for about that much, that uh, fifty thousand ish or so. A a, a oper one in operating condition could go for like twenty to thirty, and one that is in disrepair could go for four to eight thousand. I heard there's a doctor that's selling his for uh, for uh, quite a bit of money too. Uh, Where? But you have to go back in time to get it. Oh. You got to go back in time to get it. So this particular car, oh, it's in Rockville. Okay, it's in Maryland. It's in Rockville, uh, which is close near D.C. So if anyone's interested, uh, that's the dealership. Uh, you can contact me. It's uh, Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Uh, and if uh, if you do end up buying it, I want a f I want a goddamn ride. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> So, all right, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me. It looks like we are uh, this, you know, the game. We did do one game. I have, I have one in the bank, so um, that would have been a that would have been a good one too. That was going to be um, one having to do with hashtags on um, Instagram. So, uh, so.
So I tell you, you know what? What I might do for you guys is I will pull, I will pull up and we're just going to play the tie-breaking question for that one. Um, that's what I decided I'm going to do. Uh, it's called hashtag who's your hashtag, <laughs> and this <laughs> this is the uh, the tie-breaking question. So, uh, gentlemen, what are there more of? Okay, are there more instances of hashtags of hashtag Dungeons and Dragons on Instagram, or are there more instances of beer pong? Hashtag beer pong on Instagram. Uh, let's see. David, because you lost, you get to go first. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to go with uh, Instagram's uh, the younger crowds thing. I'm going to go with beer pong. Well, that leaves me open to go with D&D. All right. Well, you'd be surprised. Uh, I wasn't. I, no, I was a little surprised. I was a little surprised that hashtag Dungeons and Dragons is 1,597,652. The instances of beer pong, hashtag beer pong, 1,800,308. So it was close. It was close. I mean, you know, like, what are you going to do? You're you're going out for the evening. You're, it's a group. It's a group. They're both group games. You know what I mean? So. Right. <laughs> All right. So let me see. I'm going to see if I can do this split screen thing that I've sometimes are able to do. Mute. I'm not trying to mute you. All right. Uh, let's try that one more time. There we go. So, uh, David and Ben, I want to thank you guys for being on the show today. I know it was a little last minute. You guys are awesome. Um, we had a little bit of fun. These game, you know, the game was pretty cool. I think. Did you guys like it? Was it kind of cool? Oh, what, yeah. what did you think? Yeah, okay, it was cool. Yeah, right. I mean, it's it no was cool and fun. It, it's no Cuba death. Yes, oh, no Cuba death. ah, good, good. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right. And uh, the only other thing there is to do is for me to run the closer and then uh, park the park the shit. I mean the ship. Uh, so, with that said, I will do this, and then I will do this. Where is, is that it? your hand? My what? What? No. Oh. <laughs> and the closer. Hey, everybody, I have to jump in from the future and let you guys know that during this recording, the audio decided to glitch when I switched to the closer. So I've decided to jump in and do the closer for you now. Here we go. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Mythwits. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. Tweet us at Mythwits and check out Mythwits.com. Mythwits is produced by Aetherforge Creations and is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com and Aetherforge.com for more cool stuff. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product like and share it in all of the places just don't edit it don't change it and whatever you do do not bid one dollar for it check out ben gerber on facebook at troll in the corner and check out david benavides on facebook at bags badass gaming solutions thanks everybody thanks for listening tell your friends to tune in and we'll see you next monday